In this video, we're going to go over the demo app that we'll build in this course. Keep in mind that the goal of this course is to build a RESTful API with Flask and also explore how we can use WebSockets. So the app that we're looking at now is mainly composed of a Flask API that returns JSON, and then on the front end, we're using JavaScript to render the UI, and all of this is running through Docker. In a later video, we'll go over all the libraries and tools that were used to create the app. But for now, let's just focus on what the app does. It's a fun little app called Fake Facts, where users can register an account and then post whatever fake facts that they want. As a member, you'll also be able to view facts posted by other users and see who's online. It's sort of similar to Twitter, but not really. There's also another component of this app, and that's the fact about service. This is an artificial intelligence that posts facts over a public WebSocket channel, and that's what you see on the screen now. For example, more Canadians die per year from moose attacks than gun-related injuries. This AI is a pretty big deal. I mean, it picks a random message from a predefined list of messages and then outputs it on a five-second timer. It even has a while statement to protect itself from outputting the same message twice. It's pretty sophisticated. It may end up taking over the human population. So that's cool. Now let's see what happens when we create an account. So I'll just click join for free here and I'll just make a new dev2 account because I already seeded a regular dev1 account. For the password, I'll just go with password. And there we go. Now that we have an account, we can go ahead and sign in. Before signing in, it's worth noting that we're going to be using JSON web tokens in this course, otherwise known as JWTs. So I'll just go ahead and log in with the username of dev2, and there's my password of password. Now that we're on the inside, we can post our own fake facts, as well as view community facts posted by other people. The reason you see so much activity now is because I wrote another bot service which randomly picks a fake user from the database and posts a lorem ipsum sentence as a faked fact. That's why you see a faked fact posted by the dev2 account already up here. It just so happens that was picked by the random user bot. Now, underneath the community facts, you can also see a who's online. Right now, it just shows the dev2 account because the random user bot doesn't log each user in. Let me demonstrate that now by opening up Firefox, which is a different browser here on the left, and then I'm going to sign in as the dev user instead of dev2. Notice now on the right hand side that the dev user is online, and I didn't have to refresh the page, it just happened instantly. And if I scroll down here on Firefox, there we go, we can see two people online. So let me just jump back over to Chrome here, and then I'll scroll back up to the top, and we can add in our own fake fact. You just type it into the box and post it. And then immediately, it gets sent over here on the left, as well as being posted to latest community facts. In addition to being able to post a fact, you can also edit and delete it. So let me just go ahead and delete this fact now. And there it goes. Next up, we can head over to the community page up in the top right. This is where you can discover fake facts from other community members. Each time the random user bot or anyone posts a fact, it gets updated here on the left. That little yellow highlight just shows you who posted the fact and it increments the count in real time. All of the facts that you post as well as other people is happening over a private WebSocket channel that's only available to people who are logged in. Lastly, it's also worth mentioning that if you click a username here, then you can just see a full list of their facts. The last thing that I want to demonstrate here is what happens when you log out a user. In this case, on the left-hand side, we're logged in as the dev user, and I'm going to log him out right now by clicking Logout. Notice how we got logged out immediately, and on the right side, we're no longer online. And if you look back over here on the left, the fact bot is happening over a public WebSocket channel, which is why the logged out user can still access it. So that covers up this app in a nutshell. In this course, we're gonna go over building this app up in multiple stages, as well as cover some questions regarding APIs, such as what is an API? How do you deal with JSON web tokens, otherwise known as JWTs, when it comes to authentication? We'll even cover some API best practices as well. With that said, I'll see you in the next video where we go over some of the theory, such as what is an API. See you there.